Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. In the last one, we finally got inside Bowser's Castle. We fought off with three bosses back to back. The Handaconda was the first one. The Paper Mistake Buzzy Beetle, I guess is what it would be called. And we also fought off with the actual main boss, the Scissors of this area, which was actually the final streamer of this game. So, now that we've actually finished off with all the streamers, we're actually going to be making our way to the final area of this game, Princess Peach's Castle. So, with that, we also saved uh, Bowser in the last one as well, and I accidentally forgot the name of a of what a clothespin is called in the last one as well, but now I remember. But yeah, that definitely did happen, <laughs> and I feel really stupid for that one, but... Other than that, let's continue on our journey. Uh, Lord Bowser awaits you. Okay, he did say he was going to be in the storage closet, I think is what he said this was called. This is a storage closet? Oh, Mario, welcome. This is merely a supply closet, but wait until you see what's on the other side of that door. What's with all the uh, buzzy beetles? Normally, I wouldn't allow you inside the confidential areas, of course. That's why I had the security system installed. No one gets in unless I say so. To unlock the door, you'll have to, um, do something with those pillars. It definitely involves pillars. Do something with the pillars and hurry up with it. So he doesn't even know how to do this. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Hmm. Let's see here. Anything specific here? Well, there's a red button here, so let's press that. Okay, here we go. Lasers. Okay, so we gotta shoot the lasers through the buzzy beetles, maybe? Oh, I have an idea. Maybe we have to um, have them all point towards each other. Let's see here. So that one's good. So flip him all the way around, maybe? Yep, that works. Then flip this guy forward. Have them shoot to each other. Have this one go left. Have this one go left. And then this one go left. No. That one? No. Hmm. Let's see here. Where do we want to have that aim towards is the real question. Oh, I see it. I see it right there. You just shoot this one towards that way. So we need to figure out how to get it towards, um, uh, towards that side. Okay, so the lasers don't go that way. So let's turn this guy around and see if he has a button in the back of him. He does not have a button behind him. So that could be detrimental to what we're trying to do, so let's turn him this way instead. No, wait. Actually, wait. Turn him all the way around. I have another idea. Turn him around one more time. Shoot it through his mouth. Wait, how do you... Maybe turn him like this? Nope. How about turn him like that? No, that's definitely not it. Okay, well, let's try this way then. That's definitely not the puzzle that I'm looking for. I'm trying to get this to go forward. That's what I want. So let's try here. So this goes forward. And then we can't go right from here. So that's unfortunate. Because I'm trying to get him to go the other direction. Let's try this way. No, that's definitely not it. Wait, what? That makes even less sense, because you can't go any other direction from there, unless we're missing something. Okay, sorry for the cunts. Um, I didn't understand the puzzle at first, but now I understand it. So basically, you just make a giant S, um, S logo. I don't know why it's an S, because you think Bowser would be a, like the symbol of a B for Bowser, but I don't know why it's an S for some reason. <laughs> I should have known you'd figure it out. Time to get a refund from my from my security guy. Anyway, follow me. Okay, we'll follow you, Bowser. Hopefully that's the voice I've been using. It's been a couple days, honestly, since I've done anything with this game, honestly, because I've been um, playing a lot of um, 3D All-Stars, if I'll be honest. Well, this is... it's... Where is this? It's really something. What is it we're looking at? Um, patience, origami. Now, Mario, I've got one more job for you. 
Go. Hmm? Okay, we'll follow you. But I want to go right first, and I was good to go this way, because there's something hidden back here. Let's see. So we got some cutout soldiers, so we got the hand conda, and we also got the giant and the mini cutouts as well. That's pretty cool, I like that little trophy. And what's inside the... Ooh, 3,000 coins. And what's going on with the um, Koopa car over here? You okay over here? And can you believe that Lord Bowser banned me from piloting the clown car again? I mean, what do you expect? Putting me out with there without the proper training? Not even a thank you for saving him back at Peach's Castle. <laughs> oh, it's the shy guy from earlier. So, it's literally the one from the very beginning of the game. That's actually kind of funny. Okay, I'm guessing just hit the button then. Uh, push the button on the left and all of our problems will be solved. Uh, do it. Oh okay, yeah, I'll hit the button then. Doink. Let's see here. Am I right on the airship? Because he does have an airship in the other game, so... It wouldn't... Yeah, I am right. Ooh. That's pretty cool looking, and it looks like he has the, um... What do you call it on it as well? The little uh, aluminum foil that was in the previous games. That's pretty cool. So it's been upgraded since uh, Sticker Star then. Unless it's always looked like that, that and I'm just confused on, out of my mind. But this looks pretty cool. So so we're just going to fly there and just walk right in. That's actually pretty easy. Whoa, hope behold my latest greatest airship. Oh, it's brand new. So I was right. It is updated to the fact of Sticker Star and um, probably Color Splash. It's really nice, and you say th this thing flies. Oh, hey, Bowser Jr. What do you think, Mario? We probably would've used this against you. Maybe we still will. Uh, don't look around too much when you get on board. Okay, we won't. Hey, Kamek. Oh, are you the groundskeeper for this airship, too? He's not a groundskeeper, come on. Um, what? No, this is a magic broom. It's not for sweeping. Although I do already see a few dusty areas that could use some attention. Um, excuse me. Uh, see you later, Kamek. Hey, another bomb bomb. Uh, checking in on the duty, ma'am. Bobby, is that you? How? <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say something too, honestly, but honestly, <laughs> it, it's obviously not Bobby. We saw him get blown up to smithereens. What's happening? I, am I seeing things? How are there so many Bobbies? His name wasn't even Bobby. <laughs> but I thought Bobby was gone after we saved his, my life with that big kaboom. Uh, do you have me confused with another bomb mom? It's okay. It happens all the time. We do our jobs and when we're done, there's always another bomb mom there to take our place. And, um, all any of us can hope for is to make an impact, ma'am. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. I suppose, if you say so. You know what? I'm not going to think too hard about this. It's just nice to see you again, Bobby. And thank you. <laughs> it's so it's kind of nice to see a bomb mom and just think about Bobby in general. Because he was a pretty cool character, honestly. Uh, all aboard. We storm Peach's castle in five. Okay. Um, We'll be on there in a very short amount of time. You two do whatever you need to do and prepare yourselves. I'm told some anti-nausea medicine may be in order. Anti-nausea? Ooh, when was this here? Wait, did that just appear there? Huh, okay, I'll take a free save. Well, let's make our way onto the airship, because we literally have nothing else to do. Uh, you're ready to go? Yep, I am. So let's do this. Not sure where we're going to be what we're going to be doing. I don't think it's, like, that close to the end, but... Let's do this. Alright, listen up, everyone. Start the engines. Uh, starting engines. I'm um, starting the engines, indeed. Well, up into the air we go. Oh, I did not ex Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I was going to say, how are we going to get this thing out of here? But it's actually really nice that he has it set up to where it just flies right upwards just to get out like a helicopter. It's actually really smart, to be honest. So let's see here. So... Are we really that close to the end of the game to make it just one more episode? I... I can't... Can't fathom that, but... You know what? I can see it. Oh, punch it. 
Sorry about that, I accidentally missed a timed cutscene there, because I didn't think that would be a cutscene. Well, oops. I'm guessing he says, uh, he said something about making his- making our way to Princess Peach's castle. Or will we see King Ollie's castle? Because he did take it over. Or at least it would make sense he would. Since he's literally taking up the entirety of that castle right now. This is amazing! I can't believe this heavy boat can fly through the air! I have to work pretty hard to float just a little bit. And this thing is huge! It's very you, Bowser. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. They tell me I it's the most powerful and least efficient vehicle ever produced. Least efficient. I'd show you around more, but we're almost there. Can this bad boy move or what? Hmm. Honestly, it does seem like it's going pretty fast. Lord Bowser, enemy spotted right ahead. Hmm? Enemies? Wait, in the air? What is- oh, paper, paper airplanes. I guess that would make sense, because it is origami. Uh, so what? You think those decorative cannons we got here load them up? Open fire. Oh, we're just going to shoot them. Can I shoot them? Or, oh, nope, the spikes are going to do that for me. That's pretty cool, so that's what the spikes are for. I always wondered what they were actually for when they came to being minions of Bowser's. Because they only just throw the little spike balls normally. So it looks like they're actually the cannon. Oh no, they're throwing. Okay, so... Huh. Weird. So they're kind of like, um... Ballista's more like then. That's pretty cool, actually. Well, I guess we just get to sit around and watch them fight. Because it seems like they got this pretty much down. Whoa, <laughs> that was very easy. Don't, didn't even scratch the paint. Hmm. It did seem pretty easy. My lord, uh, there are more of them. Huh. Yeah, there is a lot of them, aren't there? Wow. That is a lot of them. Do we even have enough ammunition to get rid of all these? Bon, don't know when to quit, do they? Mario, you want to make yourself useful for once. Follow me. Hmm? Okay, we'll follow you, Bowser. So when's he going to be unfolded? Or is he even going to get to be unfolded in this game? Ooh, I do get to do something. You're gonna fire the big gun. Don't mess it up. Okay. Now there are only two ways to do this. You're gonna use the motion controls or the left stick. Hmm. Left stick. Alright, get ready. Okay, let's do this. So, how does this work? So we aim. Oh, I can't aim yet. I was kinda hoping I could kinda like get used to the controls while we were waiting. Oh, uh, here's how it works. Move left stick to aim, and press A to blast your enemies. It's that simple. Don't even think about accessing the menu right now. You got a cannon to fire. Don't mess this up. Oh, uh, light them up. Okay. So we get five hearts. Okay. So just don't mess up. This doesn't seem that bad. It kind of reminds me of uh, House of the Dead, kind of. And uh, I forgot what the other one's called. But it was also made by the same people. This is pretty cool. I like this. So just make sure to get rid of the guys before they get to us. And watch out for this guy that seems like he's going to be kind of playing a little bit of Galaga with us. Okay. Seems easy enough. Oh, <laughs> I literally hit Kamek on accident. Sorry, Kamek. I don't mean to hit you, buddy. Let's get rid of these guys while Kamek gets rid of the other, other one. Okay. Watch out for those. Um, we can grab the free heart, even though I don't think it's going to heal me. Okay, so far so good. We haven't lost yet. One after another. Hey, what's that? Uh, that looks like a mini boss. I'll investigate. Yeah, that looks like some kind of giant paper airplane boss. Okay, we'll get ready for that in a very short amount of time. This is very easy. I like this. This is actually really fun. Because this is like the kind of games I used to play all the time at the arcade, honestly. And honestly, I've gotten really good at these type of games. So if I mess up at this, I'll be very surprised, honestly. Okay, so far so good. Save me. Okay, we'll try and save you. Nothing's chasing you. Oh, now they are. Let's see here. Can we save them? There we go. Watch out for the big guy. We saved them. GG, pretty easy. Okay, get rid of those two. Get rid of these two. That's pretty good. Okay. So how long is this? Because this is actually really easy. Oh, hello. I thought I was done for. Thanks for saving my shell. No problem. Ooh, he gave us free hearts, so 
Is it a full heal, actually? Uh, incoming more of them. Okay, incoming more of them. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Same kind as the other ones? Oh, wait, there's a lot of moments in there. Okay, let's see here. Get rid of those two, get rid of these two. That wasn't too bad. I thought they would actually start going at me a lot faster. Uh-oh, that guy almost hit me, actually. One, two, three, and then four. Okay, another heal. Always good to get those. Bowser Jr.'s chasing one, but let's steal his kill. Eh, nice, nice one. No problem. There we go. Okay, so it looks like left. So just keep going down from there. Make sure to not miss that one and get that guy. And that last... Oof. I actually didn't even see the guy on the far, far left, actually. That was actually really close. And one more. Okay. Another heal. Still no um, damage taken, actually. Do we get anything for doing this perfectly? Maybe. You never know, honestly. Where's that big paper airplane we saw earlier? Um, is that that, that it? No, look down there. Yep, there it is. It must be a boss. It's quite impressive. Uh, trash that thing, Mario. Um, worthy in your hands. Young master, we must flee. Uh, good luck. Okay, let's see here. So how is this gonna work? Just smacking as many bomb bombs as possible? So do we have limited ammo as well? Because we did see all the bomb bombs we were shooting earlier. Okay, so now there's new versions of these guys. So I'm guessing these guys might be faster. So we want to get rid of them as quick as possible. Let's get as many shots off of this guy as possible. I don't know if I hit it, but I think I hit it at least twice. But I could be wrong. Okay, let's get rid of the little guys before they start charging at me. One more. Okay, he's still spawning them. Let's get rid of these as fast as possible. I accidentally hit those that other one that was right next to him, actually. Completely on accident. That was not even try I wasn't even trying to do that. Okay. It actually looks like it's almost down, actually. Do we have to get rid of all its motors? Is that what we're doing? Because I'm actually not too sure what to do here. Ooh, that was way too close. Paper airplanes are getting way too close for comfort. One here, one here, one there. There we go. Try and do some damage to him. Get rid of the little guys. Get rid of these guys. Do a little bit more damage to him. Get rid of the little guy over here. Since they are kind of like showing up out of nowhere. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. I want to do this perfectly if at all possible. Okay, a couple more blasts and I think this guy is pretty much done for. Since he's not even spawning them anymore. And I don't even have the crosshair anymore, so... I think we just won without taking any damage. Is it destroyed? Crashed it, heh. <laughs> no, it's headed straight for us. Keep firing, Mario. Okay. I don't think I'm doing any damage to this thing, actually. You did it. it it's finally over. That is. I think so, at least. Dan's airship did most of it, just saying. Uh, I highly doubt that one, actually. Come now, Mario performed more than adequately. Yep, we did. We actually did 100% perfect. We didn't take a single bit of damage. That's actually really good. And nice work, Mario. You're a hero. And that exp explosion those bobbies said was amazing, too. Yeah, yeah. Let's get not get carried away. The airship really did all the work heavy lifting. Mm, kinda, but... I did all the shooting. Peach's castle is in sight. Begin final approach. Okay, there it is. We're literally right there. We just gotta make it to it. Enemy on the port side. Hmm? Wait a minute. Oh no, another paper airplane. Well, that's not good. And that thing's even bigger than the last one. So how did that thing actually get it past us? You'd think we would have saw that ten times... Like, ten times earlier, like, you know, like, not even, like, let's see here, two minutes ago? That thing's huge. Well, we're about to make a crash landing into the giant mountain. Don't know where this is, but I have a feeling, yep, why'd I have this feeling? Hot foot crater. Well, after all that, another crash landing, I mean our first crash landing, is Bowser not even here? Um, I don't see him. Hmm. Oh man, Dad's not gonna be happy about this airship. His insurance premi premiums are already so high, and we are... Where are we anyway? We were so close to Peach's castle. We must still be nearby. Hmm. Well, wherever we are, we're in a lava lake of some sort. Um, what's that, Mario? 
Are you just hot? Is it hot in here, or is it just Mario? It's hot in general. The world's on fire. Oh wait, no, that's Bowser Jr. Uh, the world's on fire. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think we're in some kind of volcano, actually. So the place of where Peach's castle is on must be a volcano of some sort. We must have crash landed into it, like literally into the volcano itself. Um, actually, I believe there was a simpler explanation. We must have hit, uh, must have missed Peach's castle and crash landed into the volcano instead. Hey, up there, up here. Oh, there's Bowser. It's me. Hey, Bowser. What you doing up there? Never mind the airship, you know. I'll build another one. It's fine, I guess. Just get up here. I've got something to show you. Hmm? Dad, you're okay. I was worried if you got folded up even smaller or something. Well, I'll be right there. Lost. We've lost both my magic broom and young master's, bow uh, master's clown call in all that confusion. Wait, where's all the minions, actually? Did they all burn up in the lava? Um, it seems we'll have to proceed on foot. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. Alright, well, let's make our way out of here, then. So how do we get out of here? Just try and find a way up, I guess? Well, let's look for something breakable. Oh, no, there's just some boxes. Okay, we'll just make our way up the boxes, then. Uh, let's see here. Probably over here, maybe? Ooh, thousand coins. I'll take that. Let's see here. I don't think we can just jump up from here, so... Let's see here. Yeah, we can't go from that side. But we can go up here on the left if I don't fail the jump. And we can actually go this way. Yeah, it's really hot by the edge here. Mario, I'm worried that it would be an end for you if you fell in there. You can't survive falling into lava, can you? Can you? I don't want to find out, so please be careful. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll lose some health, actually. Because I'm pretty sure Mario's fallen into lava before in the Paper Mario series. Well, let's knock this down so we can walk over there. So first puzzle solved here. That wasn't too bad. Walk through here. Get another save. Uh-oh. That does not look good. Ooh, a new type of Paper Macho enemy, actually. Bobbies, or bomb -ums, As, um, Bobbies based on what Olivia would say. Actually, that's many versions of the Paper Macho Goombas. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. What are we going to do? Um, run for your lives, I think. Um, the path is too narrow. They can't get through. I highly doubt that. Then stop laughing and start running. We need to get out of here. Yeah, we definitely do. Let's get a nice save in and then um, start running for our lives, because I'm pretty sure they're about to break through. Paper Macho Bomb Bombs, I don't know how those work, but they are kind of scary, actually. That 8 damage does not seem very friendly. Ooh, there was actually a thousand gold back there. We could have actually gotten that if we were paying attention. Okay, it looks like those Goombas are actually really fast, so we can't mess up here. So run as fast as we can, and make sure not to mess up at all. And watch out for the bouncing bomb bombs that we keep seeing. Oh, Kamek, what are you doing? Oh! I guess he's sacrificing himself to help us out. That's nice of you, buddy. Um, I'll hold them. You all hurry on to Mouse to Bowser. We'll do it. Thank you, Kamek. <laughs> Thank you, Kamek, indeed. No, da Dad's airship. Yeah, Dad's airship's pretty much done for. Ow! 15 damage. Okay, so when they blow, they actually do big damage. Okay, I think I see what to do here. We need one of the bomb bombs to run into this and blow up. There we go. Okay, so far so good. I don't think Kamek's going to be able to block that for so long. I think they're about to break through him. And I was right. Well, at least they didn't hurt Kamek. But who knows what's going to happen uh, at the end of this. They're still coming! Yeah, they are. And they're really trying to kill me now. Ooh, that was way too close. The floor actually almost killed me. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Bowser Jr., run for your life or you're pretty much done for. Oh, Bowser Jr. is going to sacrifice himself too. I've been waiting for a good fight anyways. Bring it on, freaks. <laughs> uh, stay safe, Jr. I think he's fine, actually. Bowser Jr. is actually really tough. Let's see here. I don't think there's anything over there. I'm looking for any kind of, like, random collectibles, but I don't think there's any. Junior! I think he's fine. Oh, no. Bowser Jr. did not win that fight. Okay, well, we're just running for our life then. <laughs> it's really close to the wire. Ooh! Bowser's actually gonna help us in some kind of way. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I usually saved Mario for once. 
and you don't like doing that, do you? Well, let's go see what Bowser's wanting us to see. Um, so Kamek and Junior. I saw what happened. They both take care of, um, they can take both take care of themselves. Not to get too deep into my parenting philosophy, but you have to let kids take chances. <laughs> that actually sounds exactly what something Bowser would say, honestly. <laughs> now take a look at this airship's primary cannon. It's still intact. This may sound crazy, but if we load ourselves into the barrel, we can just shoot ourselves through the ceiling. That'll put us right on the doorstep of Peach's castle. Who says no? Honestly, I'm gonna do it. That sounds like fun. I well, see you later, Olivia, if you don't want to join me. Oh no, she's joining us. Well, let's see if this works. Usually Bowser's not smart, so let's actually see if he actually uh, holds his weight this time around when it comes to good plans. Because usually Bowser's not good at those, based on even Kamek said so as well. But I'm basing this off of the other games, to be honest. Okay, well, there's Peach's castle right there. And we're right on the doorstep now. Oh, see, how do you want to never get credit for any having great ideas? <laughs> Honestly, you just had a good one, so I'll give you credit. Well, I think you're amazing, Bowser. I'm very impressed with how you got so many minions to follow you, even though you're so just you're just a scary face. Woo, time for a deep breath. We gotta stop my brother and save Princess Peach. Well, we don't have the key, actually, so hopefully Luigi has that. Well, first off's first, let's tear off the final world pipe so we can make our way back to the main uh, main city again, if we ever need to. I'm going to see if there's any secrets back here, because sometimes the game likes to hide some secret things in some of these areas. So let's see if there's anything hidden back here. I'm guessing not, though, but it's, it's worth a shot. Yeah, nothing back here. Oh yeah, well, at least we tried. And it doesn't look like anything on the right side, and yeah, there's nothing. Okay, well, let's check left side real quick, since there is one more side we can check. Looks like no. Oh, okay, well, I guess that works out for us. Let's do a nice save, since now we're here. And it looks like King Ollie didn't really change this place, because the Princess Peach mural is still there from the original game from, like, don't, actually, the only time I remember seeing Princess Peach's castle in, um, like, the first appearance was actually 64, I think, actually. And that was actually where I was going to make the reference for. Huh. Actually, huh, that's actually a good, good question. I don't know that, actually. Oh, come on, seriously. Wait, it's locked. We need to, we need the key to Peach's castle. Huh, why does that sound so familiar to me? Oh my gosh, we've been so many other, uh, we've have so many other keys. Why haven't we found this one? I'm guessing Luigi? Mario! It's Luigi, and he has the paraglider from uh, Mario Kart 7. Hey, buddy, what you doing here? <gasps> and look what he found! He found Peach's key! Incredible timing, Luigi! We're so glad to see you! Um, big news, bro. You never- you know the key I've been looking for. Yeah, we know. I couldn't find it. Wait, what? It's literally in your exhaust pipe, dude. I've been looking everywhere, but I just can't find it. I'm sorry for letting you down, bro. It's gone to be somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, uh, don't worry about it, Luigi. You tried really hard, and that's what counts sometimes. I wonder... Has it been the, in the exhaust pipe this entire time? From the very beginning. I have a feeling it has. And that would make sense why you didn't see it. Well, there we go. Key to Peach's Castle. Finally, it's actually the key to the Peach's Castle. <laughs> you did good, Luigi. Wahaha, <laughs> no wonder your cart is so slow. How long has that thing been stuck in that pipe? Um, Mamma Mia. I, it's been there since the whole time. So all the searching I've been doing was for nothing. No, it wasn't, actually. Well, you had a way of finding other keys that we needed. We, right when we needed them. That was helpful. And now you brought us the right key at the right time. Way to go, Luigi. Um, really? Well, it's no big deal. I guess I just got lucky. Bah, you heard him. It was luck. So let's cut this pity party and bust into that castle already. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we got a party of... 
Literally, we have Luigi and Bowser on our party now. Wait, can they both fight? Wait a minute, let's check. I want to check this real quick. Because, wait a minute, they might be able to actually help us in fights. Because Luigi is actually part of the party. And that's what happened with Bowser Jr. So, I wonder, this is going to be cool. Well, let's open up the door and let's make our way inside. Okay, it's been a while since we've seen this exact area. Hi, uh, not this again. Yeah, not this again, indeed. Unfold, unfold, buh. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Well, let's see if Princess Peach's folded soldier form is still here. Uh-oh. Yep, there it is. Hmm. You're finally here, Mario. I'm so happy. So happy. Princess, uh... Oh, no, that's Luigi. Princess, I'm a-coming. Uh, yeah, good luck, Luigi, on that one. Literally, we already fell for that. Um, follow me. Hmm. What's with the left and right doors, actually? I'm gonna check these out first. There's a reason for these, right? Uh, won't open, huh? I bet they didn't even put anything on the other side. Bob, patch it in the rest of the castle, you cowards. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was a nice joke. That was actually a nice joke. I like there was a, a patch in, uh, like a patch, like bug, bug patch fix, uh, kind of like joke in there. So what's going on in here? Just a heal place? Well, let's sit down with Bowser and maybe we can get some dialogue out of here. here. Oh, look at that. The wall is almost totally gone. Didn't it peel off when we got rid of the streamers? Uh, does the shape of this hole in the castle look familiar to you? Wasn't Luigi stuck in this chunk of between dimension type space? That looks like just like this, hmm. Oh, so this is the room that Luigi was in when we um, lost sight of him earlier. Okay, so that makes sense. I was wondering where he decided to go. Okay, so that's where that is. So we actually got some closure on that. I have a feeling we're about to fall on the floor like Luigi did. Let's see here. Okay, we can fall in there if we really wanted to. But we are really allowed to go around, so let's just keep going. Luigi will be fine, right? You are the blessed few to have been invited to by King Holly himself. Come along and witness. Witness, you say? Okay, then. This looks familiar. Is that supposed to be the um, infinite stairs from uh, Mario 64? Because <laughs> that's definitely what that reminds me of. And Well, this castle just got a big upgrade, didn't it? Would we call this no longer Peach's Paper Castle and more of King Ollie's Origami Castle is we, what we could say at this point? Because, yeah, that's definitely an Origami Castle if I've ever seen one. And this place is huge. Wow. Uh, huh. I still don't know why King Ollie's evil, though. I do wonder why he's like that, actually. It's very strange. I wonder if there's some kind of driving motive or something. An origami castle. Yep, an origami castle. I can't believe it. He folded up Peach's castle into his own origami castle. I guess he really is serious about turning everything in the world into origami. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. So it's all folded up now. Big deal. It's still Pe Peach's castle. Oh no, wait, that's Bowser. Uh, so it's all folded up now. Big deal. It's still Peach's castle, right? Your brother and Princess Peach are both still in there. So let's go and get them. Okay, well, let's try and save Luigi first. Because Luigi is probably not doing too hot right now, is he? Can we do anything with Luigi's car? Nope, we can just take pictures with it. Eh, it's fine. Ooh, another legendary hammer. I'll be taking that. Let's do a nice save. And I guess we just walk in. So that makes sense why there wasn't anything secret here, due to the fact that, excuse me, due to the fact that we searched here earlier and then there was literally nothing we could do. Although, how do we get up there? Oh, here we go. There's a flipperoo right here. Oh, it's a match-up puzzle. 
Ooh, right here. I saw this one fly up a little bit. Okay, match those two together and get ourselves in a thousand fold arms. Okay, so we just pull whatever, I'm guessing this little flap up here, and pull it on down. There we go. And this looks like the main door, so let's open it up. I'm guessing it works like, nope, I was going to say it was an elevator, but that's definitely far from an elevator. Okay, some fire bros. These guys aren't actually dangerous at all, so thanks, I guess? These guys aren't scary at all. At all, like literally. Flip these guys here. Fold him down, I think. No, 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 no. Not like that at all, actually. Um, pull these guys forward. Pull these guys forward. Perfect lineup. Huh, okay. Wait, that makes me think that you can't hammer these guys. Can we or not? I'm gonna say we can. Let's go Legendary Hammer because I forgot how much damage we needed for these guys, so... I think Great should be good. Yeah, Great seems like good. Let's do Flashy Hammer this time. Because I have a feeling that maybe a normal hammer might actually knock these guys out. Nice. 38 damage is enough. Okay. So literally we could just do um, Flashy Hammer and just one-shot them. Okay. Not bad at all. Easy peasy. Okay, no more Fire Bros. So we should be able to make our way up the infinite stairs now. So... Oh, it's not infinite then. I was kind of thinking it would be um, infinite due to the how it was in uh, 64. I was just making a couple jokes because I've been playing a lot of 64 lately, I'll be honest. Um, it's Mario Alert King Ollie. Hmm. Well, there's King Ollie. Hey, King Ollie. I ordered you to stop Mario and his friends and you failed. You pathetic cowards. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, I was going to retire tomorrow. Recycle me! Oh, okay then. I suppose this is fitting. Welcome to the Origami Castle, Mario. Um, hold on, brother. Folding Peach's castle into, into this Origami Castle is too far. There's no coming back. If you do anything worse, I, I... Oh, my dear Olivia, if only you shared my wisdom. If only you shared my vision for an origami kingdom. I assure you, folding all of Peach's castle into origami is just the beginning. Mario, since I know best, I have refolded this castle in my image, and I sincerely hope you enjoy it. Hmm. It actually is very smart that he did that. Because, ooh, one of these guys again. Wait a minute. Ooh, it's a puzzle. Okay. Well, we just go in here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The floor flips, actually. Well, let's run for it and hide. Run and hide. Wait for him to turn back around. I'm gonna wait till he turns all the way behind him, if that's a thing. Well, as I was saying, um, what do you call it? I still wonder what kind of motive Ollie actually has. I don't know why he would be evil, to be honest, because it seems like he literally, as soon as he got folded, he turned evil. Which makes no sense, but who knows honestly what happened to him. So let's see here, so how do we do this? Oh, right here, actually, we just, we literally have the in exact answer. Flip that go guy over here, and flip these guys into here. There we go, perfect. We already know we can't jump on these guys, so we're just going to do a shiny hurl hammer. And then, let's see here. I wonder where Luigi ended up going to. I wonder if he was ever meant to be a playable character. Sadly, it doesn't seem like he was ever going to be one, but it still would have been nice to have him like join us in fights for a little bit. Your shiny hurl hammer broke. Well, rip to that. But other than that, we got a perfect round. 900 gold, always nice to have. And we also don't have to worry about the sumo bro breaking that. Oh, we did have to fight him, actually. Are, I forget what these things are called down there, but aren't those the um, wish catchers? You know, where you put like per people's names in there and then you like hug, kiss, and some other stuff in there. And then it's usually like, um, I think the first, like, I haven't seen it since elementary school, but I think that's what they're called. I think that's what that um, that is, but it's pretty cool that those are supposed to be the spikes on the floor. It's actually pretty uh, unique. Of a theme for that. Ooh, what's this? 
Flashy. Something flashy down here. I'm gonna pull it. Ooh! A flashy question mark block. I'll take that. Okay. 3,000 gold. I'll be always taking that. I'm guessing you can hammer this. If you can. Some more fire bros. Let's be careful about that. I want to check the other side here. Because if there's something secret over there, there's got to be a secret over here, right? And I was right. There was 2,000 gold just sitting in the back there. That's actually not bad. Okay, let's see here. Wait for the fire bro to throw. Wait for him to throw. Smack him upside the head. I actually thought we would one-shot him, but apparently not. Well, it's fine, I guess. We'll fight through a couple of these boss fights. Or, boss fights. <laughs> these are far from boss fights. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, I'm seeing throw this guy here. No, wait a minute. Throw these guys forward. Actually, wait. Pull them back like this. Maybe. Let's see here. I'm trying to think of it. This maybe? That goes there. No, that's definitely not it. Well, we have enough coins to just use this, so you know what? 900 coins, help me out here. We literally have 21,000. You guys can't see it underneath my camera, but it's, it's literally 21,000, I'll be honest. Okay, let's see here. We have a heal. We also get that, and they're all lined up for us now. Great lineup. Okay, let's see here. Uh, flashy iron boot should be enough, right? So let's do a nice flashy iron boot jump. One, two, three, four. Not bad at all. Down goes those guys. And now to get rid of the other assortment of fire and ice bros as well. I wonder how much damage a Bowser does and how his attack pattern is, because um, every single enemy that, or not enemy, but every single person that joins you actually has their own attack pattern, so I do wonder what kind of attack pattern he has. Well, let's grab our free question mark block and see what's inside. Ooh, Luigi's cards. I'll be taking that. That's an awesome collectible, actually. I really like that. Okay, let's see here. Do we even have to fight the fire bro? I don't even think we even have to. We literally could just go around him. Okay, let's see here. Um, hit this down, I think. Pull this up, because it would make it. Ouch! Okay, do that again. Pull it up. And hit the... Ooh, there we go. Perfect. So that's literally where we needed to go. Okay, so I'm guessing if we actually try and go for that, he's just going to throw fireballs at us. Nope, he can't hit us. Okay, good. Let's see here. I'm guessing... No, that's not the paper strip. Uh, look for a paper strip. Where we'd be, where we grab. Oh, here it is. Pull it on to the right, and there we go. There we go. Now we have some stairs. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Make your way up here, Bowser, with me, and we'll be out of here. In a short amount of time, too. Let's see here. Let's make our way up the stairs, I guess. I wonder how big um, Peach's castle is, honestly. Okay, so due to the fact that I have a feeling that we have a lot of a lot more to go for this castle, and I have a feeling that we might have two bosses left, because I ha I do remember seeing the stapler at the very beginning of the game, so I have a feeling he might be a boss. Ooh, the map actually for this place is actually really cool, but as I was saying, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be fighting another station, uh, legion of stationary being a stapler because of the fact that we saw the stapler at the very beginning of the game when we first got trapped in Peach's castle. I guess we'd call it King Ollie's Castle now, but yeah, we saw him stay clear at the very beginning, so I'm pretty sure he's an enemy. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to be fighting King Ollie. It would make sense. It would very much make sense that he would be the final boss. Unless Bowser turns into the final boss, that'd be kind of funny. But with that, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, boys and girls, and have a wonderful rest of your day. See you all in the next one. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.